Today I will be exploring this amazing fluid app in which you can browse web inside your VR headset on different windows and place them anywhere by using various gestures like this one. You can grab this window and place this anywhere you want inside your space. You can place them closer or farther to you. Now if you want to have access to a virtual keyboard, you can just click this button on the dashboard and it will display a virtual keyboard on which you can type URL or search anything. And I know like typing on a virtual keyboard is hard, that's why they added a feature of connecting your bluetooth keyboard or mouse to it that I will show you further in the video. Before that, I just want to say that right now I have very low number of subscribers so I will really appreciate if you subscribe. Thank you. Now back to the video. You can increase or decrease the window size according to your needs. If you want to scroll on a web page, you can pinch and scroll up or down. Coming to dashboard, you can make it invisible so that you can just focus on the windows. And if you want to place it anywhere in your space, then first you have to unlock it by pressing this button. Now you just have to grab it and you can place it anywhere you want. Let's explore the different options. The first one is pass through. By clicking on it, a transparent rectangle will appear in which you can see your surroundings. If you are in a completely virtual environment. With this feature, you can see your mouse and keyboard and use it easily. Now if you want to connect your Bluetooth mouse and keyboard and use it inside Fluid app, you just have to go to Bluetooth settings and connect your device. It becomes really easy to use this with mouse and keyboard just like a normal computer. And you can do things like resizing or moving your window or changing the distance of the window using just your mouse. Now the second option on the dashboard is environments in which you can use different environments to work in. The first one that I am using right now is cabin. I think it is the best looking environment right now. The second is Fluid Apartment which is more modern looking. The third one is Wide in which it completely darkens your surroundings. So if you are really into dark mode then I think it is the best for you. Next one is Moon in which you can work on Moon. I think it is also pretty cool. And the last one is Pass Through in which you can see your surroundings. I think. It will be useful if you want to stay aware of what's going on around you. The third option on the dashboard is this table icon. If you click on it, it will show you workspace settings. You can add different browser tabs in your workspace and save it. And if you select, it will open that workspace in front of you. It is really good if you just want to switch between like entertainment and productivity workspaces. The fourth option is to create or join rooms in which you can share your tabs with your friend who are inside the same room. You can watch a YouTube video together or read text and discuss it. I think it is amazing feature if you want to collaborate with people who are further or even if you just want to watch a movie with your girlfriend in a long distance relationship. If you click on a fifth button, it will display another web browsing window. The next option is setting that allows you to customize various things according to your needs. The next button is keyboard. It will open a virtual keyboard and the last one is switching between these dashboard options. By clicking on it, you can access your favorites and you can change these favorites by going to settings and adding a URL of your favorite website. I think another cool use case will be like using remote desktop and playing games on cloud gaming platforms like Xbox Cloud. I'm excited to see what developers add next to this app. I think overall this app is just amazing, like you can actually use it for work. It is not gimmicky like other apps in VR. And the developer team is constantly updating the app with new amazing features. I think this app is one of the best apps if you want to do anything productive inside your VR headset. Let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe guys. Thank you.